Traditional Indian sweets at this shop are more than just items on sale. They are part of a long legacy. Chandu Halwai was founded over a hundred years ago in Pakistan and moved to India after the partition of the two countries. As the fourth generation of the Behal family discusses business strategy, their ancestors, the men who set it all up, are never too far away. And as is in most family firms, when taking decisions, they turn to this man, the head of the family, who's also the head of the business. What is important is that you are together, that you are working together, you are living together, you, you care for the reputation, you care for the principles of your forefathers, and success or, or profit or, or that kind of yardstick is not paramount. In a corporate world, hire and fire is the policy. In family, it doesn't arise. There is no fire and there is no hire either. A person is born and he lives in the business and dies in the business. Therefore, there are times when the question of efficiency and question of performance does raise a question. Managing people's sentiments is one of the big challenges faced by these businesses. And when there's more at stake, it gets even harder. Some of India's biggest companies are run by families, and over the past two decades, many of them have split up. So the global trend, where just a small percentage of family firms survive beyond the third generation, is one that's also seen here in India. But some have managed to stay together. This is one of the country's most famous consumer brands. Videocon is a large conglomerate that's listed on the stock exchange. And it's run by members of the Dhut family. In the face of fierce competition from foreign companies, it's had to move away from functioning like a traditional family business to a more corporate setup. We have to keep CEO, CEO and board of directors. And if suppose a family member, even he's the owner, he speaks in between or he gives an idea. Uh, it's very difficult that the board may agree or the CEO or, th or those who are working agree. So it becomes, uh, sometimes it is very um, tactful to adjust the family member and to run the show also. ...of the tax increases more than proportionately. Many of India's business families, big and small, have realized the need to get professional help. At the Wellinkar Institute of Management in Mumbai, this class is specifically catering to those who own companies. In fact, most big business schools around India run MBA programs for family firms because there's growing demand for them. Initially, I faced that friction where people did not have confidence in me. So, I mean, I could feel it. That was a kind of non-verbal communication that goes on. So, to gain that confidence, I needed uh, proper guidance. I want to take my company global, so that was the prime reason I said uh, I, I, need to, uh, I need to gear up. Back at the sweet shop too, there are aspirations to grow globally. And while they modernize how their company is run, the family values and hierarchies which are deep-rooted in society here mean that they and India will never lose their taste for family business.